Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, what do you print on your 3D printer? What can you print on your 3D printer? Personally, I like to print all kinds of stuff. Um, recently, I kind of cleared out a lot of the decorations out of my office and decided I'm going to print stuff for my office just to show off what I can do. And you've seen this Adelinda in one of my other videos. You've seen her. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love her. She's going to go in my office um, to show off my 3D printing stuff. Um, I currently have a hairy lion, a red hairy lion. I have Odie and I have Garfield in my office. I love stuff like this. I have Omnom guy here. He's going to go in my office. I haven't put him in there yet. I haven't put Adelinda in there yet either. But they're going to go in my office. I recently printed this guy. You've probably seen this on Thingiverse or uh, Pin Shape uh, before. It is the pink elephant. He turned out really stinking cool. And uh, I love that he can move his legs. and he, It's like he runs. He can stand up on his hind legs. And... Uh, he can be pretty cool. Um, he's a cool little little model, and uh, I love him. He's pretty cool. So those are the things that I, I love to print because I just love printing things. But you can print functional things also, things that are useful uh, you can actually print. I am in the process of printing this here, and you may or may not be able to tell what it is from there. Um, I'll show it here in the close-up um, camera. It is musical instruments on this big circle and what it is going to be when it is done it's going to be a uh, musical notes um, clock. Functional piece, right? Something we can actually use and so I ordered the clock mechanism from Amazon and uh, I think it shipped from China. Um, it took long enough that I think it felt like it came from Mars but um, the clock mechanism came in and so I'll be printing this. This is for my wife. She's a music teacher so I'll be printing it for her. I'll be putting that for her and I'll be printing out the hands and I'll be printing out I think little numbers that go on top of here. Um, a couple other things that go on there to make it uh, a nice clock that she can put up on the wall. But the second thing that I've been printing that is functional is this here. And you may or may not even know what this is. Some of you may. If you are into uh, amateur radio, ham radio, you'll, you'll know what this is. Um, this is a Morse code or a CW key. Um, it allows you to send Morse code. It allows you to send um, CW signal. And I started printing these... Uh, Really, actually, almost as soon as I got my printer, I started printing these. And then I went and uh, I was using a model that was designed by someone else that was on Thingiverse. I decided that um, I didn't care for their model as much. And so I set out and I used Fusion 360 and I designed this model myself and made it into something that I like, something that I love. Um, it is mostly made out of 3D printed parts. There are... Uh, three, uh, five screws total, counting the lid screws. There's a couple nuts. Um, there is some wire and there is a uh, one eighth inch, 3.5 millimeter jack um, on the back. And so it works great. It's a fun little CW key. Um, I'm now selling these actually on, uh, on an Etsy um, shop that people can purchase these for their own use. They're nice and portable. That's what they're for. Um, is for portable uh, usage to take out into a park, take out on a hike, take out somewhere with your radios and, uh, and use them. And so those are two functional items that I've printed. You can find all kinds of functional things uh, that you can use to print and that you can print with. Sometimes you're going to have to develop your own models. You may have to go on to uh, Fusion 360. You may have to figure out how to use Fusion 360 or figure out how to use Tinkercad um, to be able to do some of things like this. I'm not sure what this one was developed in, um, 
it's on Thingiverse. You can find other functional items on Thingiverse, but you don't have to just print tchotchkes or toys or models like this. You can print something functional, something that you can use on an everyday basis, something that may help your life out, something that may replace a, uh, a part that you can't get or that it's going to cost you too much to get. You can print those things out with your 3D printer. So I hope that you enjoyed this and uh, saw some things that maybe you maybe thought of some ideas that you can use to functionally 3D print something. Uh, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. If you liked all this, please click subscribe below, click the like button, and uh, we'll see you next time.